This is really big news in America right now. This story has been making the rounds. It's been all over the media. It's really important because America right now is wasting enormous amounts of energy. And they unfortunately are not doing what a lot of European countries are and harvesting energy. But now new technology that's come out in the US shows that is about to change. In fact, the US government is specifically going to invest on this technology rolling out so that you guys in America aren't wasting throwing energy down the drain. There's, there's well over enough energy, f- almost free energy, which can be harvested at, harvested at a 300% return and is enough to power 30 million homes that is simply going to waste. Leading heat pump manufacturers have successfully developed next generation machines which will withstand sub-freezing weather. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Now, these, this heat pump technology could be used to harvest a lot of this wasted energy, whether it's heat or cold, uh, that is currently not being used in America. If you want to see my video about that, I'll put a link in the description below. However, the US Department of Energy today announced that four additional heat pump manufacturers successfully produced heat pump prototypes as part of the Residential Cold Climate Heat Pump Technology Challenge. This is a Department of Energy initiative to accelerate the deployment of heat pump technology by supporting innovation and manufacturing. Launched in 2021, this initiative brings together public and private sector stakeholders to address technical challenges and market barriers that have kind of prevented next generation cold climate heat pumps from becoming something used, mass manufactured, something that isn't being used by all homes and they should be probably. Now these are a key, now these new heat pumps are a key clean energy technology that can potentially save households $500 a year or more on their utility bills while also slashing carbon emissions. The challenge specifies that prototypes deliver 100% heating capacity without the use of auxiliary heat and with significantly higher efficiencies at five degrees Fahrenheit. Through this challenge, the Department of Energy was working together with industry to accelerate widespread commercialization of efficient cold climate electric heat pumps, which can provide clean heating and cooling for millions of American families and help meet President Biden's goal of 100% carbon pollution free electricity by 2035 and a net zero carbon economy by 2050. Deploying next generation technologies like heat pumps is critical to America's administration's efforts to ensure that Americans have access to more affordable clean heating and cooling options, no matter where they live, said US Secretary of Energy, Jennifer Granholm. By supporting industry advancements, the Department of Energy's Cold Climate Heat Pump Challenge is helping get cost effective clean energy technology into homes across America keeping families warm during the coldest months and saving them money. Now, don't get confused here. This technology has not yet really been rolled out, but hopefully it will be soon. Heating and cooling buildings, homes, offices, schools, hospitals, military bases, and other crucial facilities contribute to more than 35% of US energy consumption, driving pretty big carbon emissions that fuel climate change. And of course, um, they're not good. We're trying to do the opposite to this. Heat pumps efficiently provide comfortable temperatures for heating and cooling homes and businesses in all climates, especially when homes are well insulated and can provide more efficient water heating. Unlike heaters that run on natural gas or heating oil, heat pump technology uses only electricity to extract heat from the air to heat and cool buildings. And when compared to gas boilers, heat pumps reduce on-site greenhouse gas emissions by around 50%. That's a huge, huge change. You can see why um, heat pumps are used in electric cars. Very similar technology used in electric cars because they work. They allow your they allow your EV to travel significantly further than what it would if it didn't have a heat pump. Now, I think all EVs should have heat pumps. That's my opinion, but they don't. So you might want to check before you buy an electric car if you're getting good value for money. If you're getting a heat pump, you're going to get better efficiency. Bosch, Dakin, Medea, and Johnson Controls will join previously announced partners, Lennox International, Carrier, Train Technologies, and Ream in the next phase of the challenge, which is expected to involve the installation and monitoring 
on more than 23 prototypes in various cold climate locations across the US and Canada over the next year. This is such a brilliant way of getting businesses to manufacture new technology, to provide solutions. And I think you guys in America have probably the best heat pumps in the world as a result of this challenge. With eight manufacturing partners successfully passing the laboratory testing stage in the challenge, the Department of Energy is now turning to the nearly 30 state utility and other partners that were part of the original challenge commitments to encourage the adoption of heat pumps. The Department of Energy will continue to work with partners to develop programs, incentives, education, and outreach campaigns in order to get these heat pumps into people's homes, allow them to save money and to save energy. Electric heat pumps will enable more American families and businesses who, well, a lot of people turn the heaters off, right? They, or they have really high energy bills and then they suffer with being able to afford the cost of living. But a lot of people just don't do this. They just like walk around with blankets all over themselves because they're so damn cold. Should avoid people having to do that, at least maybe not tomorrow, but at some point in the future. This will benefit low income households and also provide lower energy costs through American made clean energy technologies. You won't have to rely on Chinese companies to make this stuff for you. It supports jobs in America. And I think this is a huge positive. Guys, I'm all for this technology. I really think it will change the way we, we heat our homes. Heat pumps are really the future of heating, the future of cooling as well. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.